Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. One system I don't talk about very much on the channel is the Nintendo GameCube. Most people remember the Nintendo GameCube for getting its ass stomped by the Xbox and the PS2 in the sixth generation of video game consoles. But I'm here to tell you, this system is pretty damn good. I do enjoy it, so I figured what better time to take you guys on a journey with me and I'll go through my Nintendo GameCube collection. And that's what I want to talk about on today's episode. So roll that intro. Alright, now I'm not going to go into insane depth on these games. I'm just going to kind of go through them and just show you what games are in my GameCube collection. So we'll start off with Animal Crossing. I mean, who hasn't played Animal Crossing, right? Uh, this one, the, these, if it's a little glossy, I'm sorry about that. It's got these little cases on here that I got from Retro Protection. So um, they really work well, though, and I really do think they protect these GameCube cases really well because a bad thing about these GameCube cases is they scratch really easily and they just they look really weird after a while if you don't take care of them they get a bunch of scuffs on them and like just with anything else a GameCube case is a lot of money these days so uh, that's the first game Animal Crossing and I actually have the memory card inside there also pretty cool the next game I want to talk about is a game called Auto Modalista Modelista, Modelista, whatever the fuck you say it. It's a Capcom racing game. When I got this game, I got it from my buddy, and at the time it wasn't worth anything hardly. Now this game is worth a lot of money, apparently. Now, you guys are probably going to want me to say how much these games are worth, but honestly, I don't keep up on the GameCube prices anymore because they're just fucking astronomical. Anyways, uh, the next game I want to talk about is Baiting Kados. Um, Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean. Pretty cool. And I actually have the sequel also, which is Baton Kados Origins. Pretty cool game. I haven't put a lot of time in it because I'm not a huge RPG guy, but uh, there you go. Next one is Beyond Good and Evil. Now, this isn't an exclusive. Uh, this was on the PS2 also, but... I just always found myself picking up GameCube games back in the day when they were dirt cheap. So I got lucky and got this one, Beyond Good and Evil. The next one is, I know this one's pricey just because of seeing the prices online when people are going to sell stuff on the Facebook pages or the groups or anything. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Um, I remember buying this game from my buddy for $2.99 and he worked at a game store and I actually got it. And that's without a discount. That's just how much they sold the game for. So pretty wild that this game is, uh, God knows how much money now, but I'm gonna say it's over 50 or $80. Hell, who knows? Pretty cool game. And it's made by Sega, which I was always happy to see. Next thing I wanna talk about is Bomberman Generation. Not a insanely huge Bomberman fan, but I do like Bomberman and Bomberman 2 for the NES, so I went ahead and picked this up. Bomberman Jetters is the next one, made by Majesco, and haven't put a lot of time into this either. Next game is Custom Robo. Uh, this game's getting up there, I guess, in price also. Pretty wild to see all these GameCube uh, prices just skyrocketing. It really sucks for anybody that's, you know, wanting to start collecting for the GameCube, so... I got lucky and started collecting, you know, 15 years ago on this stuff. So that's the only reason I have these games. Otherwise, I would never pay uh, the asking price for these games nowadays because it's just ridiculous. Uh, next game is F-Zero GX. In my opinion, this is a really good F-Zero game. A lot of people like the GBA. I think it's Grand Prix uh, F-Zero game. But I really like this game, F-Zero GX. Pretty cool, put a lot of time into it when I got my GameCube back in the day. And I still play it every now and then. Next thing I wanna talk about is Chibi Robo, Plug Into Adventure. 
I love these kind of games where the art style is a certain way and you kind of got to like figure out little puzzles and try to figure out how to traverse the level and get through these traps and things like that. So I was always a uh, fan of those type of games. So I picked up Chibi Robo. Another game is Cell Damage, T for Teen, EA Games. It's a racing game, but it's put in like a comic book. I guess like a, I don't know, I guess like a cell shaded adventure, I guess, because it says, it's, you know, cell damage. But um, pretty cool game. Next game I want to talk about is Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Ain't gonna lie, I never played it. Whatever. But I figured I'd add to the collection. Now, this is a great game, and I played the absolute shit out of it when it came out. Def Jam Vendetta. Being a huge rap music fan and wrestling fan, and they just grabbed everything and put it into one and made Def Jam Vendetta. This game is fantastic. The finishers are fantastic. The people in the game are great. I mean, just look at all these artists that like, you know, some of these people have passed away. So they really can't, you know, make a, a, a sequel now to, or a third one, I should say, because there's actually another one for the GameCube. But, you know, some of these people have passed away, so you really can't do this again. And I don't know how they did all this, you know, when this came out. I don't know how they got all the agreements and everybody signed and paid. But super cool game. A great story mode. So fun to play. And it's just, the music is fantastic if you're a hip-hop or rap music fan. It's just a really great game all around. Def Jam Vendetta. In my opinion, the better sequel is Def Jam Fight for New York. I don't know that these games are pricey just because I was recently looking up some stuff and I seen that the disc for this game is like, I don't know, 80 bucks. So I can't imagine how much a complete in box copy. And by the way, all these games are 100% complete uh, with the manuals, inserts, flyers, all that. So I really took the time and tried to get these complete uh, as I could. And luckily I did it, like I said, a long time ago. So Def Jam, Fight for New York, incredible game, tons of new wrestlers. I mean, look at all these, look at all these hip hop superstars down here. I mean, just so freaking cool. Warren G, Omar Epps, Henry Rollins. I mean, just super freaking cool game. And uh, like I said, I'm a huge wrestling fan. So this appealed to me very, very easily. Uh, another game is Donkey Konga. Um, I actually got this and a brand new set of bongos for $5.99 uh, a long time ago. So that's how prices were back then. I'm sorry, th this isn't sealed, but the, the bongos are. But five dollars and ninety nine cents. Fuck, I think the bong the bongos go for like hell. Who knows, twenty bucks or something. I don't know how much they go for. Donkey Konga two, pretty cool sequel. It says compatible with the DK bongos. Not a lot of people played these games because you had the bongos with them, but they're pretty entertaining, especially the second one. I enjoyed the second one. I remember just sitting around after I'd get off work on third shift and just be sitting in my apartment back when I was you know when the GameCube is out I'm sitting here just playing bongos at like seven in the morning <laughs> you know what I mean it had to be wild if he was my neighbor next game I want to talk about is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat compatible with the DK bongos they really like hyped up Donkey Kong on the GameCube for some reason uh, you know he was coming off of Donkey Kong 64 which in my opinion is it's just a shitty game I'm not gonna sugarcoat it so yeah, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Next game I want to talk about is one of my favorites for the GameCube, a GameCube exclusive. I'm a huge, uh, you know, survival horror, horror, you know, movie and video game fan. So Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. This game is absolutely incredible. Um, a lot of people did not play this game, and if you did, you know if somebody played this game. If you say, hey, have you ever played, you know, Eternal Darkness? And they'll say, oh, yeah, I played it. Well, you know, wh wh what parts did you like the best? That's how you know if they played the game, because there's very specific things that happen in this game that only happen in this game, or I've never seen before or since this. So, super cool mind trip horror game. I don't know what else to say. Everybody probably knows about this game, but 
very cool and I'm sure it's very pricey now. So, and also another thing, not many games were mature on the GameCube, v very few. So that was really cool. Uh, another game that I got that is sealed that I have never played is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Um, apparently you can use this with the GBA, but yeah, I've never played it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So yeah, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. The last game I wanna talk about for part one is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I picked this up from my buddy who worked at the game store no discount or anything and i want to say if i'm not mistaken this game was maybe 25 dollars, which at the time was insane for a gamecube game like you could get first party gamecube games for hell i don't know 10 bucks i got all my mario parties for dirt cheap so fire emblem path of radiance the game's extremely pricey now and this is 100 percent complete so um i'm glad to have it in the collection not gonna lie i probably wouldn't play it very much these days but i'm actually glad i have it because it's super hard to find and if i was an rpg fan uh, i'd probably want to play this and then i'd be super pissed that i'd have to pay and it's stupid amount of money to play it so there you go fire emblem path of radiance well that's all for part one hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I'll definitely have parts two, three, and four coming out in the next couple months or so. Uh, I appreciate all you guys watching. Take it easy, y'all. So there you go. There's part one of my Nintendo GameCube collection. I have a quite a few GameCube games, so I figured I'd make a four-part series. And this is part one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you had any memories of these games I talked about today, or just any GameCube game memories in general, Make sure to leave your comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on reminiscing, baby. You're nothing but a punk. Your daddy's a punk. And your mama's a bitch.